my TikTok game got stronger. Check out my videos, but we're actually gonna watch other people's videos. Be well. You are at risk of type 2 diabetes. I think it possibly might be a yeast infection. Yeast infection. Imagine that's how I deliver news to my patients. The best treatment option is probably fungal cream and... Fungal cream for what? For the yeast infection? I mean, we could just give a single pill here. I don't know what's happening. But it is good musical theater. What's a musical theater diagnosis you could give a patient? Mm, pneumonia. <laughs> Benign prostatic hyperplasia. Knock, knock. Big hopes. What's up, big dog? So look, the abdominal pain you came in with, a little sus, right? So we sent you down for the scans, right? And I mean, the scans came back and they're certainly not busting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've seen residents talk like this amongst each other and I kind of laugh because I'm getting too old for it. Bussin? Yeah, no cap, like high key, big yikes. Dude, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. All right, bet. Big facts, uh, but no, we're gonna get you down to the OR. Big facts, no printer. <laughs> Even on like conversations with like patients, it doesn't get this crazy. I'm doing CPR to the. Oh, she's doing chest compressions. Chest compressions, chest you compressions. Can you see surgery on the grape? Oh, how did she know? That's so good. She's watching the good content. It doesn't work on iPads. Fantastic. Don't use Q-tips in your ears! Ah! Because you push the earwax further back and then I'm gonna have to operate on you like I did Jen Selter. Check out my TikTok of me doing so. Q-tips just push all the earwax in deeper, right? I mean, yeah, but what else am I supposed to do? Well, you could let me put this straw of hydrogen peroxide in it. Why? It melts it and then allows it to naturally come out. Or sometimes you could just shoot a little soapy water in there or something and clean it out. Because it'll actually loosen up the earwax and clean out your ear. Now this is the weirdest thing ever. Ah! You don't actually have to put the straw in your head. You just let the fluid leak out into your ear. When I was a kid, I discovered this crazy talent and I was examined by doctors. They said it was almost superhuman. Like when I drink a glass of water and I move my lips up and down, I can heat it up into water vapor. What? No, I don't believe that. You can't trust anything you see online unless it's happening directly in front of me. And I know his name is not David Blaine or he's a famous magician. Water vapor, like that's it's boiling. He boils it? Boils it? He's at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. How does this turn into this? Oh my God. No, I'm hopeful that that is just an x ray of a Buzz Lightyear behind a person. Because inside of a person, it has edges. His, his, his wings. To infinity and beyond. Oh. Oh my God, what is happening here? Is this acupuncture? This feels largely unnecessary. No, you can't put the thing on his head when you can't do that, no, man, don't do it. Oh man, that doesn't look comfortable. The problem with this is like, it's going through the muscles. So if you're trying to make some kind of facial expression, imagine like you try and move and all the needles. Ah. If you put two arms up, then put one arm down and then push that arm backwards twice. That arm will become much longer than the other arm. No, it didn't work. You can't see it, but I promise you it doesn't work. Unless you just like loosened it up or the other arm got tired or something. I don't know, this is medical misinformation. If you pinch your arm 10 times, close your eyes and then touch your elbow, you what? won't feel anything. <gasps> oh. These are, I don't understand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still feel everything. I feel my hand. It doesn't even make sense. The body's quite capable of feeling pinches and touches. Before keto. Sad. After keto. No, keto is not a miracle potion. Yes, it does help people get some short-term weight loss. Some people really love it, but medically it's not miraculous as people say. All right, let's just talk about it. Who's the most important organ? It's definitely me because I It's the brain. Everything. We did the poll, the brain. Everything to do, y'all can't think for y'all That's true. But if I didn't pump blood to you, you wouldn't be able to function though. But I have to That's tell true. you to pump blood though. But you wouldn't be able to tell me to pump blood if I didn't pump blood to you. You. Yeah, but that's like the chicken before the egg. Without the brain, the heart's not pumping. And when the heart pumps, the brain can continue to function. But the brain needs to be there to start the process first. Yes, in trauma protocol, we try and save the lungs and the heart. But without the brain, nothing's a cooking. I like the brain. I think the brain is magical. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a fun organ. I like to touch it. Not like while it's in people's heads, but like in cadavers when you're learning about. It. You've been using your ears wrong. Right and left actually have different functions. No, they don't. If you're somewhere loud and trying to hear what someone is saying, you're more likely to succeed. Uh, no. All of this is nonsense. This is, I, cool. 
That looks like a ganglion cyst. And I have drained those. I've also taken those out. Ow. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Fair. Is that dog's name Fair? He's literally slapping me with his tongue. You think he's hyperventilating? <laughs> oh my god, it's so, so mean. mean. Just standing there like waiting for someone to take it off my face. Oh, baby. It's gonna poop or fart. No. It's a farty baby. We do that to babies. It looks like torture, but babies actually really like it. Bend over psychiatrist. Uh, doctor, there's a patient out here saying he's turning invisible. Uh, tell him I can't see him now. <laughs> um, he also said he's shrinking. Well, he's going to have to be a little patient. <laughs> That's really good. It's a little patient. Oh, why is this dog so scared of the nail clippers though? Oh no, puppy! No! That must mean they did it wrong last time because it's not supposed to hurt. When I do it to Bear, he doesn't even care. He's just like Unfortunately, you've uh, tested positive for a plethora what? of diseases. Oh my God, am I gonna die? Firstly, you have Mono Nicola Jokic. Molly or Nicola College. A little mononucleosis? Mean in tits. What is that, a nipple issue? But meningitis? Rabbis. <laughs> Rabies. Diaria. Diaria! Give me that. You've been mispronouncing all of these. Mm -mm. The way you say these differentiates on where you went to medical school. Rabies! Not rabbis! Mononucleosis! Not Mono Nicola Jokic! Jokic! <laughs> Are you even a doctor? That's confidential. It's not confidential. You could look that up. I am never donating blood again. Ever. The very second you walk in the door, question after question, where did you get it? Why is it in a bucket? Do you have a monitor, don't you? <laughs> that is not where I thought that would go. Yeah, donate blood out in a bucket. That's oh. not how it works. Yeah, that's sometimes when a woman's appendix bursts. They ignore it because it's the same as a period cramp. Well, they oh. don't ignore it. Doctors sometimes ignore it because they think it's like a period cramp and they just blame it on the menstrual cycle. And that's horribly wrong. I'm convinced women are aliens. The pain tolerance, they know everything, they know when you're lying. High emotional intelligence and being disbelieved by the medical system. This is fact, it actually does happen quite often. Put a finger down if one day you woke up with what you thought was a late season flu and then a couple hours later you developed some Charlie horses in your legs, but instead of these Charlie horses lasting only a couple minutes, they ended up lasting six hours. When you got to the ER, you didn't look like an emergent case because you're a healthy 23 year old. You got hot and you pulled some blankets off your legs and your dad asked you what was on your leg and you looked down and it looked like a giant bruise and it wasn't there a couple hours ago. So your husband go get the ER doctor and then you don't remember anything for two weeks and when you woke up you were missing your entire left leg and you had a giant scar on your right arm. What what, what was the diagnosis? Looked it up, necrotizing fasciitis, brutal, brutal condition. Terrible story, but this is prime example of PTG, post-traumatic growth, sharing a story so others don't feel alone. Positivity, humor, I'm a fan, I I'm watching. This TikTok grandma over here has some medical questions and has some medical statements. Are they real or are they not? We're gonna discuss it here. Click here to check that out. And while you do that, stay happy and healthy.